Okay, here we go. Let's see if this works. Some technical difficulties as always. But let's see if we can get uh, Miss Jessie Sharp up here for our member spotlight. If you are on here live with me, let me know where you're watching from. So Member Spotlight is something that I'm really excited about because we have such an incredible community here. We have um, all kinds of people from all different backgrounds. I love fe featuring you guys because I always learn from you. All right, so let's see if we can get her up here and uh, get to know Jesse a little bit. Are you able to hop on here with us? Oh, here she comes. Thank you for your patience, guys, and I hope you can hear me. Woo! We did it! <laughs> we did it! Technology! Technology! Here we go! Can you hear me all right? Yeah. Sweet, I can hear you. Hopefully everyone else can hear you too. Awesome. Yeah. Yay, welcome, Jesse. I don't know how long it's been since I've seen your face. A long time. A long time, right? Okay, awesome. So why don't we kick things off with a little introduction. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? What does your life look like? Uh, crazy <laughs> and hectic. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure a lot of us can relate. I don't, not me. I don't know who. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so where do you live? I live in the middle of nowhere in New Hampshire called Alexandria. <laughs> so if anybody lives yeah. near there, it's near Newfound Lake. So. Okay. If anyone's watching from New Hampshire, let us know in the comments. Whoop, whoop. Um, and our... Are you a wife? Are you a mother? Are you a sister? Are you Both. a daughter? All yep. of it. <laughs> All of the above? <laughs> yep. How many, how many kids do you have? Two. Two. Awesome. Very cool. And they're beautiful, for those who yeah. don't know. For those who haven't had the privilege to see their little, their little Insta faces. Yeah, um, exactly. All right, cool. And so what, is, what does your health situation look like? Would you be willing to share a little bit of that? Uh, yeah, I have a lot of stuff <laughs> wrong with me, <laughs> but my main one is probably, uh, it's called POTS, and mm -hmm. to sum it all up, I pretty much can't stand up unless I want to pass out all day long, <laughs> so, yeah. pain in the butt. We actually have, yeah, we have a couple of other members of the community that also have POTS, um, and some of the other things that I know you're dealing with, so... Thank you for being willing to share your story a little bit with us. We really appreciate it. Um, so what was the first, or what was your introduction to doTERRA, and what was the first oil from doTERRA that you fell in love with? Um, well, I've, I've been using oils for quite some time, but none of them seemed to work. And I'm like, well, it's the last one I could find, so I'm going to try it out and see where it goes. And obviously it was the best choice if we had chosen it first. Um, we, we all feel that way. <laughs> yeah, and probably my number one oil and one that I fell right in love with is probably Copaiba. It's done amazing things for me. <laughs> yep, yep. That was uh, some pretty exciting dialogue back and forth when Copaiba entered your world, so I'm really happy yeah. for you. Um, okay, so what are some other oils that you use regularly now? How do you find you use them the most? What are some of your other go-tos? Um, I use lavender a lot. Um, for both me and the kids, it seems to help with just relaxing in the evening when we need to have quiet time and yeah. to help them get to sleep. So, awesome. And I use Motivate a lot. That helps mm. me get through my day sometimes with no yeah. sleep. So Yeah. But if we've got yeah. any Motivate fans on, let's see some hearts on that. Because I'm a Motivate fan. That's one of my all-time favorite oils. And I don't mm. even know if that's one that we talked about together, but you just, I think you found that one on your own. And that's like, yeah, one I just of my picked it. Favorites. I'm like, yes, I need it. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Um, okay. Very cool. So if you had to give moms with little kids out there one oil as a gift, what would it be? 
I'm putting you on the spot now. I didn't, I didn't prep you for that question. Um, it would probably be on guard. Because you can use it for just about everything. And with children, there's lots of germs around everywhere. <laughs> so mm-hmm. it's very helpful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Mr. Uh, Mr. Delicious always goes, on guard! <laughs> <laughs> That's one of his favorites. That's a good choice. That's a solid choice. Um, all yeah. right, last question. Last question for Jesse, unless we get any questions for Jesse in the comments. Um, and I can't see comments when I do this double screen, so I'm sorry, guys. I can yeah, I see that either. some of you are watching. I can see that people are watching, and if you're commenting, thank you. We appreciate it. I just can't see them yet, so we'll have to get to the questions after. Um, maybe Jesse will help me field those in the comments below. But yeah. last question. What is the one oil that you could not live without now that you've been playing around with several? Um, it would probably be lavender. Yeah? You pick so lavender useful. over you can use... Oh, yeah. Ooh. Well, one, I'm pretty sure sleep and relaxation is a little more important because you can't Ooh. feel better unless you have sleep. So it helps a lot. That's awesome. That's awesome. I love it. All right. Well, thank you so much for being on here with us. I really, really appreciate it. I know there's lots of people that can benefit from knowing you and connecting with you. So I will uh, follow up with those that have expressed interest in some of the things you're going through as well. Um, That's it. If you have any questions for Jesse, post them in the comments. And if she is feeling up to it and feeling nice and likes your profile picture, then maybe she'll answer you. We'll see how it goes. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Thanks, Jesse. Bye, guys. You're welcome.